Yo, what's up, guys? It's Young Devin, and you're locked into the hottest station, the number one station, G98.7. You done, more. G987 FM, the way we groove, this is The Enforcers, and we have on the air an incredible artist who has been representing in Soka for years and has now captured the attention of the entire hip-hop world with her captivating lyrical skills, representing Trinidad and Tobago via Brooklyn, New York, the baby goat, universal baby recording goat, artist, <laughs> Young Devin, welcome to the Soka Groove. Thank you for having me. It feels good to be back, I uh, could say. Yes, yes. You know, absolutely. it feels like home again, you know, yes. doing something that involves Soka. You know, of course, that's definitely the whole point. So I'm happy yes. to be here. Yes, yes. Excellent. So you, you started uh, in the game at a very young age of eight. Um, explain to our listeners how you got started in music. Yeah, well, um, you know, I started performing. I did a school talent show where basically uh, they wanted you to do a song that highlights your background. And my family is from Trinidad. Yes. So... Uh, I did a soca song called Work It by Patrice Roberts. And from there, people thought I was a special guest performer at my school. And they was calling my school trying to book me for like <laughs> their daughter's birthday parties and things like that. And then I linked up. Um, his name is Vibes Man Redman. You might know him. Yes. He's like, you know, uh, that is, and you know, that's somebody that's like family really and truly. But we didn't even realize until in or a couple of months in like wait this is this you know you so-and-so daughter so it kind of just happened 360 where I went on his radio show he um put me on to sing and everybody started booking me for shows because they was like who's this kid doing soca and then you know it evolved into me performing with Masha Lyrical just some of the biggest stages and biggest names in the game Amazing. Big, big up Vise, man. He's actually the first person that told us about you years ago. Yep, that was the first That was the first person in the game in soca music, period, to really put a stamp behind me. Amazing. So let's let's talk about, uh, in, in the soca world, uh, who are mm -hmm. some of your influences when it comes to approach to stage performance? Um, definitely, of course, Marshall. Yeah. Uh, I love Patrice. I, I've watched, I always used to love watching fan lines too, like how she would command the crowd. Yes. Like very talented. Uh, you know, skinny, fabulous, lyrical, of course, mm -hmm. Kerwin Dubois. Like I've just been around that my entire life from yeah. eight till now. So I was yeah. always groomed in a sense of knowing that stage performing is a big part of your artistry. So, yes. you know, when you see a Masha Montana perform, you can't just come on and perform regular after. You got to either match that energy or, you know? Yes. So that's kind of what I learned from. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. So let's uh, talk about your journey, uh, broadening your artistry in Soka to the hip hop world. Right. Um, how did that, how did that come about? Um, that basically came about because I just felt like I wanted to do something that was a little more mainstream. I felt like Soka music wasn't mainstream enough and I want to be the artist to bridge that gap between yes. the mainstream world and the Caribbean culture. Like certain things like Soka music doesn't have its own genre. You yes. know, I want to be able to just break those barriers. And on top of that, soca is such a beautiful genre of music. So many amazing hits year after year that I feel like the world is missing out on. So yes. I always said I would transition into like a hip hop or R&B. I just never thought that I would ever rap. I thought yes. I would be, you know, more on like an urban genre, but I never thought that I would be rapping mm -hmm. bar for bar. So, right. you know, that was kind of like a, a shocker for everybody, including myself. But that's yes. kind of how I transitioned into doing rap. Amazing. And uh, a, a proud moment for the Caribbean community. You're one of the youngest artists to be uh, featured as uh, a freestyle artist uh, for the uh, BT Awards um, Cypher. Right. Um, right. Talk about that moment, that experience for you. Um, that was a great experience for me. Uh, it's something that, number one, I always dreamed about doing. Like I, last year, like the year before I, I did the BT Awards, I was watching the show and I was like, next year I'm going to be here. Yes. I don't know how I was going to get there. I didn't have any plans. I didn't even have like a full-fledged, like, you know, team that was in the industry who had these connects. It was just really speaking it into existence and speaking and praying to God. Yes. And he answered my prayers. And when we got that email, it was just like go time. So of course I wanted to go there and show out. And yeah. you know, rep Trinidad hard, rep Brooklyn hard, and I think I did just that. Yes, there's there's something about these female Trini DJs, uh, MCs, uh, in, yeah. in the game. I don't know what it is. Something, something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me, um, Nikki's Trini. Yeah. Cardi got a little Trini in her yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Um. So we we the other day we at our uh, heavy hitters out the box session, uh, you mm -hmm. played your new single. Uh, straight mm -hmm. to it. 
and also uh, featured um, a Caribbean flavor track, Secrets. Uh, yes. Can, can you explain how Secrets came together, what that song's all about? Yeah, Secret came together. I was in the studio, shout out to Fast Life Beats. Uh, we were in the studio and I just wanted to do a fun Caribbean song that had like a really dope concept, something I never really heard before, or even if I have heard it in a way where you know, people my age can relate to it. You know, yeah. I didn't want it to be something too mature, too crazy, but I still wanted wanted it to be fun. So then, you know, the concept of secret and having like a little side boo, I feel like everybody has related to that and have, mm -hmm. has experienced that in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. So I thought that would have been really relatable. And when I released it, everybody loved it because number one, like I said, such a relatable concept. And number two, it's just a great fun song. So yeah. I'm glad at the response. Excellent. We, we appreciate your time so much, uh, Devin. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Like I said, this is like second home. Of course, I'm always going to run back here. Soka to the world, TNT, <laughs> the whole Caribbean to the world. Yes. And, you know, young Devin says so. <laughs> uh, how do uh, fans keep up to date with you on social media? Yeah, you guys can follow me on all social media, Young Devin, Y-O-U-N-G-D-E-V-Y-N. Keep streaming straight to it. That's the newest, hottest single out right now, playing on the radio every single day. My dreams is coming true. I want to thank you guys for supporting me so much. And more to come. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right.